I'm not happy right now. I'm going on a rant. Raise your hand if you know anybody who speaks Spanish, maybe is Hispanic, or speaks Italian, or is Italian, or spends a lot of time exposed to um, other languages, German, Italian, specifically languages that have a very popular food variety. I don't know where I'm going with that. Actually, I do know where I'm going with that. So, went to a restaurant, and I wanted some dish that had like pumpkin and cinnamon and all kinds of crap like that. It was like a potato dumpling. You know what I'm talking about? It's spelled G and look at my beard. Oh my god, it's dirty. It's scraggly. I have to put stuff in the Anyways. It's spelled G N O C C H I? G O G N O C C H I. I think is how it is. It's pronounced Noki. I think. Well, I order the, I tell the waitress what I want is this Noki. Noki. And then I had another word after it to indicate it wasn't just regular Noki, it was fancy Noki. So instead of saying, oh, okay, and I even pointed, I pointed it, pointed at it in the menu. And instead of saying, oh, you want that, she looked confused and said, um, oh, you mean the gnocchi? But she, of course, said it faster. Oh, you mean the gnocchi? Not gnocchi, gnocchi. Like she didn't know what I was talking about. And I looked at her like, yes, the no-key. Then the person I'm with, my coworker, ordered an empanada. And it's listed in the menu as empanada picante. Now our waitress is Hispanic. I don't know why she had to correct us on the Italian food. But then she goes nuts. She goes absolutely nuts. My wife's texting me. She goes nuts when my coworker says, I want the empanada picante. And she leaned in, uh, oh, you mean the empanada picante? Or how'd she say it? Picante? Picante? Very fast. She knew what she was talking about, but she had to correct her on the pronunciation of the empanada picante. And the gnocchi. Don't be that asshole. Anyways, I'm going to show some stuff about what happened today. I got little snippets. I don't know why I'm doing this number like this. Uh, some things that happened during the day. I'll put it in the video. And then I was going to talk a little bit about uh, the keynote speaker. Very cool dude. Um, but I'll talk about him in a second. There's my rant. Here's like, I don't know. A minute, two minutes. I don't even know what I've recorded today. An hour? Here's a little bit, of, a few clips of what happened today. I'll try to make the sound not so crazy because uh, it was a fucking madhouse. Everyone was after that neoki. You neo it. Man, there are a lot of people over here. Man. I think it's going to get really full really fast. Looking for coffee. Right over there. I found it. Sweet wounded Jesus. They have mimosas and Bloody Marys. It's kind of awesome. I got a baby Groot. My son will like it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DattoCon 18. I can't hear you guys. You guys excited? No, we're all old yeah. IT people. We excited? It's like spring break for old IT guys. Oh, that's a good way to put it. People look at it. They got a DJ who just woke up. He's excited. Like half the people here are wearing suits and ties or polos. And I'm not about ready for a rave. 
a light shone in my eye and I was damn it there it is again son of a bitch not a fan of that okay quick thought the worst part about these conferences is not sitting through vendors it's not any of that it's because when you walk past somebody they're so focused on bullshitting with somebody and trying to schmooze them they don't get out of your damn way it's ridiculous move your asses so we're uh, we're in the vendor spot and there's a lot of vendors everywhere I'm in the middle of the room I'm going to show this really, really cool thing I found. All you got to do is put a business card in, and you can win that. That is badass. Um, not a whole lot's going on. I found out that to get free stuff, I will lie, especially if it's for a free t-shirt. If, if they offer me a free t-shirt and say, are you a, a partner? I will definitely lie. Nothing exciting happening thus far, except I keep losing my coworker. Oh, you got a baby Groot! Baby Groot! Oh, I got it! I got a baby Groot. It's my second one. So, if nothing else, I'm coming out of this conference with uh, a lot of free stuff. Not a bad deal. I mean, it's an expensive conference, but uh, it's kind of worth it. They got food coming up. So, like I said, nothing exciting so far today. It's been kind of a boring... I mean, not boring for me because I'm an IT guy. Like, all these new features are kind of cool, but kind of boring. All right, she's going to go poop. So... Not really. All right, that's about it. I'll check in later on. The spread, the food that they have here is amazing, and I wish you were here. Let me flip this around real quick here. That's crazy. That's what I do too. It just, I'm making everyone feel bad that they're not here. I do the same thing because I can't see, or I have to get my glasses out. Oh, this isn't because I can't see. This is mainly to make people make people feel bad because they didn't get to come to the conference. Oh. So, so you do it for uh, personal reasons, yeah, and I do it too. I can't read anything. Yeah, I do it because this is because I'm not a nice person. You're missing out on all Right? Look at all of that. Look at all that food that you guys didn't get to eat because you're not here. Oh! I got tables and tables and tables of it everywhere. They also have sandwiches, like, I don't know, here, we'll go look at the sandwiches. Look at all that. Just look at it. All the stuff you can't have because you're not here. If you would have made it to the conference, you would have got some. Look at all the sandwiches. Holy cow. So, wish you were here, but you're not. So I'll eat all this food for you. I've got like 15 t-shirts, I think. I don't know, I gotta count them. I keep getting a hand to t-shirts. Really wish you guys were here. I mean that. Because uh, every other person I talk to here is nice, but then every other person, wait, that doesn't make sense. I'd say half the people here are very full of themselves and pretenders, so it'd be nice to have some people to talk to. My coworker left. She's with Jesus now. I don't know where she went. All right, that's it for an update. I have already eaten too much. Oh my God, another table of food. Holy, look at that. All right, I'm gonna go find someone giving out free beer because that's also something that's here. All right, wish you were here. Hey guys, what's going on? Just uh, thought I'd go to the fridge, get a little drink. 
Mm. Good old coconut water. Oh, I like this hat. Right under my beard. Okay. Let's talk about the end of the day. The big keynote speaker tonight was uh, Robert Herjavec. Is that his name? The guy from Shark Tank, Robert. These things are annoying as hell, but I'm going to keep it on because, you know, it's mine. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that he is... Um, he runs a cybersecurity company. I think he might have a couple. I don't know. He did let on during the meeting that he brings home $52 million a year. That's uh, kind of a lot of money. He talked a lot about uh, business strategy. A lot of it was related to IT, but some of the things he said really resounded. Um, talking about having a vision and how a lot of it is just dumb luck, but putting yourself in a position so that when that luck strikes, you can be successful. Um, my beard's all messed up because I haven't combed it in like two days. Maybe this will help tame it. Nope. This little tuft right here just, it's getting all scraggly. It's getting all itchy too. I need to condition my beard. So the datacon's going well. I kind of miss streaming games, but I don't even have energy for it. I could stream it off my laptop, but I don't feel like it. So I thought I'd do another one of these. Well, I like that. Here, we'll just eyeball shot. There we go. So, um, anyways. Really interesting guy. He shared a story he said he never told before that he did Dancing with the Stars because his mom, uh, when she she had always loved the show, when his mom was really sick, asked him if he'll ever be famous enough to uh, be on show. Uh, talked about how he came from nothing, very similar to me. Um, started his own business. Something I don't think I'll ever do, because I really don't want to. But well, never say never. <sighs> Had some really interesting ideas on security, and one of the most profound things he talked about was electricity. In the early 1900s, when when electricity was coming around, and he used Downton Abbey as an example. Like in the show, I guess a guy shows up to install the phone, and the Lord's like the guy tells the Lord that everyone will have a phone someday. And the lord of the castle says, oh, no, they won't. And he says, go ahead and put two in. And he's like, two, my lord? And everyone just stops. Now think about that. That was, the, that was a reality. I mean, that's a TV show, obviously. But that's a reality for um, how phones and electricity and these, this technology is to, uh, for, or was back in the day. And he said, the internet today is what electricity and phones were years ago. No longer... Are people having to log in? Um, it's just everyone's going to be connected. Uh, he said they estimate, and I think he said five years. Right now, there's like three billion people connected and seven billion IP addresses out there, and they they estimate that in like five years it will be six billion people connected and over a trillion IP addresses. That's a lot of devices. Now, from a security standpoint, that's kind of terrifying. But it's about being prepared and not just looking at where you're at and how you can address the issues of today, but pulling people into the future. So the, the spe his talk, there was a moderator on stage, and his talk was the questions and the conversation was amazing. Of course, the questions kept going back to, Shark Tank and other stuff because they were taking questions from the audience through uh, their app. Um, but yeah, it was actually really eye-opening and really motivating. So it was kind of neat to hear him talk. 
been a good conference so far. Kind of happy. But I look forward to getting home and seeing my wife and kid. Um, I did put the clips up today from different things that happened. I noticed that I breathe really heavily. And I think it's because I can't breathe out of my nose very well. My allergies are kicking my butt so bad I'm just all mouth breathing. So I, I do apologize about that, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, do want to give a shout out to um, someone that subbed on YouTube. I need to get his name or her name. I ate at a place today. I kind of ranted about it when, at the beginning of the video. Um, thank you to Vince Thompson for the sub on YouTube. So really appreciate that. Hope you guys are having a great time. I kind of am, but I'm, like I said, ready to be home. I don't think I'll ever wear this hat except for like comedic value, but I wore it for a stream. So there you go, or a video. Take care, do something nice for a stranger. I'll see you in the next one. I'll probably do a video again tomorrow. And as always, stay moist, mate.